I just purchased a set of Hot Wheels radar guns for my classroom for many reasons. One, to do uh, simple science experiments, testing the velocity of different objects. Also, to teach about electromagnetic waves. See, a radar gun uses uh, microwaves, which are an electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves are, are waves of energy. They range from simply uh, a, a radio or um, a TV broadcast using electromagnetic waves, different frequencies, all the way up to uh, visible light that comes from the sun to x-rays. Radar stands for radio detecting and ranging. Uh, radar guns use microwaves. It emits a small pulse of, of microwaves towards an object. Then the object bounces the waves back to the gun. Then the gun calculates the, the speed of the object and tells it to the person who's holding the gun. The radar gun has several modes. It has a one-to-one -one scale which, which tells you the accurate miles per hour or kilometers per hour or it has a 1 and 64 scale mode which can then be divided by 64 which will give you a more precise measurement but this can only be used for small devices and should only be uh, in a range of I believe 1 and 10 feet. It can also measure miles per hour and kilometers per hour. To use the gun is pretty simple. All you do is just hold the gun at the moving object, hold it down, and it'll calculate the different speeds. Then when you let go, you can see the miles per hour the person traveled. The miles per hour here is 20 miles per hour, so that person was speeding. I'm here with, I'm here with Officer Barry and I'm going to test the accuracy with the Hot Wheels radar gun with his official police radar gun. I had 18 miles per hour. He had 18 miles per hour. I had 20 miles per hour. He had a 21 miles per hour. I had 15 miles per hour. He had 16 miles per hour. So in conclusion, I've determined that the Hot Wheels radar gun is pretty accurate. Now, it was one miles per hour different than the police radar gun, but overall it was pretty close. Now to make this a little more accurate, you can use the Hot Wheels mode, which is the 1 to 64 scale mode. Uh, what this does is it, it, it makes a higher number, but then all you have to do is divide by 64, which then creates a decimal, which is more accurate for a science experiment. So even though the Hot Wheels radar gun might not be used by police officers to stop crime, it is an excellent tool for the science classroom.